Have you ever woken up and can't seem to move? You can't speak. You open your eyes and see dark figures that aren't really there? This bizarre and frightening experience that many people, including myself, have gone through is called sleep paralysis. So what is it? And how can you stop it from happening? Let's hope we figure it out soon, because I got a nap scheduled for right after this. Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. Sleep paralysis may sound scary, but the good news is that it only happens to less than 8% of the general population. So what if you're part of that 8%? Maybe understanding what it is can help it seem less spooky. Let's start with sleep cycle. When we go to sleep, we go through four stages. Stage one is basically when you first fall asleep. This usually lasts one to seven minutes, and it's the easiest stage of sleep to be woken up from. Stage two is a more subdued sleep. Your temperature drops, your muscles relax, your breathing, heart rate, and even your brain activity slows down. Stage three is deep sleep. And studies show that even though your brain activity is reduced, deep sleep contributes to insightful thinking, creativity, and memory. Once I figure out how to do my job during stage three, it is over for my enemies. Now it's time for the big event, REM sleep. Even though our eyes are closed, you can see them move rapidly, hence REM's full name, rapid eye movement. During REM, brain activity is almost the same as when we're awake. And during this exact time, our bodies go through atonia, which is a temporary paralysis of the muscles, with two exceptions, the muscles that control breathing and the eye muscles. I mean, think about it. If your arm and leg muscles weren't turned off, you would be acting out your dreams. When you wake up during a REM cycle, your body's still going through atonia, so you can't move, even though your eyes are open and you're technically awake. Your mind is also still in dream mode, which makes you hallucinate and think that Hat Man in the corner is real. Science calls this intruder hallucinations. And it's not just paralysis of your body. You might also lose the ability to speak. You can also experience chest pressure hallucinations, which cause you to have the feeling of suffocation. But don't worry, it's not a demon suffocating you. It's just your chest muscles paralyzed momentarily. And finally, we have vestibular motor hallucinations, which include feelings of movement or out-of-body sensations, like flying, which honestly, this one doesn't sound so bad. I'd try that. The good news is the paralysis doesn't last forever. Even though the exact cause of sleep paralysis is unknown, there have still been many studies that give us a general idea of the causes, which can be lack of sleep, having inconsistent sleep schedules, mental stress, and even sleeping on your back. So the best thing you can do is to practice good sleep hygiene. For instance, exercising during the day, going to bed at the same time every night, making sure your bedroom is quiet, dark, and relaxing, and removing electronic devices like phones and TVs can all help you fall asleep faster. And now that you have the tools to get a good night's sleep, you can rock yourself to bed with the knowledge that sleep paralysis is just our brain being a little too dreamy. And like all nightmares, it can actually hurt you. That was a lot of work. Time for my nap. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you wanna watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.